Let's play in more autism. Comedy presents Super Mario Sunday. We have once again reached that time of the week. But this time, we're gonna have a little special addition to this particular episode. So yes, greetings people of the world, Matthew back with you here at Novara Autism for another edition of Super Mario Sundays featuring Super Mario Maker. And so yes, today we will be having a bonus course being featured for this edition because for the first time in for since I started this series in February, one of you guys submitted a course for me to play. Like, you don't know how long I've been waiting to finally say those words. A viewer submitted a course for me to play. That just makes me so happy right now. You do, like, seriously, you don't even know how long I've been wanting to say those words as part of this series. That a viewer has submitted a course for me to play. So that is going to be featured at the end of the episode. But first, let's go into Course World and go through our usual rotation. But yeah, I'm really psyched for today and the fact that there could be... Oops, let's get off that. Uh, that, that we're going to have the opportunity to play a course submitted by one of you guys. That's just such a big deal for me and I cannot wait to do it. But first, we're going to do what we've been doing for the last um, couple of months now since we've reintroduced the series. And that's taking on some of the newest courses that have been introduced into Super Mario Maker. And right out of the gate, I already see a couple that already catch my eye. Especially on the Super Mario Brothers course at the top there. I know a lot of people really like the Nintendo Wii game Xenoblade Chronicles. I've never played it myself, and apparently it's very hard to get a copy of the game. So I would not even bother trying. But if, there, if the love for the game is any indication, we should see something really good coming here from Vincent from France. So, let's see what his homage to Xenoblade Chronicles is all about. Let's have a look at see what this is going to be. I imagine that our character will look like Shulk, the, which is the lead protagonist of that game. And the moment you kick a Koopa, you just get it all going crazy. <laughs> and the screen just goes into panic mode. Whoa! Jumping Wigglers! Yeah, I'm good. Oh, they keep jumping even when you hit them. What? Okay, that was not expected. Uh, <laughs> whoa! Oh, and evil music, but we're going down the pipe because the course is telling us to do so. An extra shulk in case we needed it. Yeah, it even, even sounds like him, I think. What happens when I kick you? Alright, an another spare mushroom. Like, I don't even know if I, it's a good idea for me to be going left, but exploration is definitely being encouraged here. Now, here's the problem. How am I going to get past you guys without touching you unnecessarily? Well, there is a checkpoint here, and they do want me to go over this way. So I can confront Bowser- Ah! Crap! Like, where did this come from? Ah! No! No, 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 no! No, no, no! No, no! Yeah, you were definitely not expected, but you must be like, uh, homage to a boss or something. I don't know. But the worst thing about this is you have wings, and wings are bad on an enemy. I'm just glad I had the wherewithal to deprive the um, Goomba of his cap, or of his um, boot. So if nothing else, I have ensured my survival and my safety for uh, the time being. But damn it, Bowser, stop breathing fire! Oh, I am enjoying this already. This, this will definitely be suggested to Steven Plays, I can assure you of that. There we go, he's dead. We've got a key, but where do we take the key? Okay, we cannot take it up, so it means we gotta... Or maybe we can go up and around. Because, yeah, there is an indication to go up and around here. But if we can cruise over everything to the end of this level, like, that would be great. 
Alright, so on the other side... It's absolutely nothing! Why is this here? Ah, troll move! Troll move right there, I say. Nonetheless, we are going to descend. Because I want to check out the rest of this level from the overhead perspective of this clown car. That can also breathe fire. Let's get it up for a charge. Oh, the keyhole is down there, okay. Whoa, that may- <laughs> that, I was about to say, that was the worst time to do that. Thankfully, it wasn't. Alright, we're still going. But now we have no clown car. And now we just go down here, alright. And pop back out on the other side. I can use the- I can use the Koopa if I want, but no, I'm good. And why is there a checkpoint flag up on the castle? Why is there a checkpoint flag up on the castle? Maybe that's some um, part of the Xenoblade Chronicles gimmick, maybe? I don't know. Like I said, I've never played the game, and I've seen a few Chugger Conroy videos of it. And the one thing I really wanted to tell Chugger Conroy about Xenoblade Chronicles, about the last video that he made for that series, was that um, I have seen the ending, and what it made me think of was actually a major plot twist in the third Star Ocean game, Star Ocean Till the End of Time, because it utilizes a similar plot twist after you've beaten the game for, on Xenoblade Chronicles, but it comes during the game in Star Ocean Till the End of Time. Nonetheless, though, um, I would definitely send this to Steven Plays and see if it gets some love from his viewers and from Steven himself. So yeah, definitely got some love today for that course. Now, let's see if Toby from Germany can make anything that's just as amazing with Keggy Wars smile, smiley face here for Super Mario 3. So when you say we take a look at this thing, because it looks like there's going to be a lot of stuff involved. So let's get to it. Keggy Wars, like what would that be like? Well, since I'm not German, I really don't want to know how to be able to determine that, but I think there's going to be more use of fire. Oh. <laughs> I did not actually know that was something like that was possible, but there it is. And we've actually inadvertently changed the direction of the um, cannon in the process. And the fact that it even rested on my head too, like wow. This is going to be a good day of Super Mario Maker. I can just tell already, maybe, if I can thread a needle somewhere. Okay, so a key is being encouraged to be found. I wonder if it's actually up there. Or if we even need to use it. Oh, crap. I was about to say, can we, pick, can we pick him off? We can. Didn't even need to use the full charge. Because, yeah, using the full charge would have been a bad idea. Alright, open this door. Now once we go inside, there's a pipe we can go into. And we go can go down it. Led to another fire flower, so we're not... Uh, whoa! Yeah, I kind of imagine we kill you now. Oh boy. There's more than just you, isn't there? Oh, holy shit! Bowser! What, what has he do What has Toby done to you? <laughs> oh my god! What is going on with that? For real? Like, ser seriously, for real. Anyway, I want to open this door. I want to open this door and see what's inside. Oh, okay. So, let's take this pipe then. Oh, but it doesn't look like I can go any further, so I gotta go back. But yeah, what the hell? Ah! You again! You again! Alright, open the door. Oh, P-switches. What? But now I gotta make use of them? Um, come on. Go in the door. See if I need to move... Oh, wait a minute, what? Back through the other door! Back through the other door! Shit! Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! Oh, wait a minute. What? Did I just get trolled? I think I did. Um... 
Yeah, I, can, I cannot take my eyes off of this crazy Bowser. Um, well, they're giving us another P-Switch. Do I take it with me? Or where do I take it to? Like, I, I don't even know where to go with this. All of a sudden, i am gone from being really impressed to being really confused. I've gone from being really impressed to really, being really confused. But yeah, I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do here. But yeah, th there's definitely a problem going on here. Can I go back? I cannot go back. I can't go back. But then what do I do? Because I don't have a clown car with me. Like, am I really just stuck here for good? Yeah, I know I know you keep doing that, but that doesn't solve my answer. That doesn't answer my question. Let's go back in here. Um, I'm not... Yeah, I still don't get it. Like, maybe I have to bring the P-Switch over? Get rid of you. Go in there. Grab the P-Switch. Come back. Drop back down. Go in the door. Run through the pipe. Now... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. I, okay, that's how it works. Well, at least they're giving me infinite tries. At least they're giving me infinite tries at this. So that's what works. That's what, how it happens. Okay, in there. Run through the door. Yeah, this is confusing as hell. I want to just set it down here. There we go. <laughs> We're free to go at long last. It's like, what is going on here? And we just then we discovered that's what's going on here. So now... Well, we have another fire flower, but now we're gonna have to resort to climbing vines, maybe. I just want to know where the goal is at this point. Cause I almost feel like I've been in this room too, in this level too long. All right, you Goombas are free to go. Just don't let me ever catching you causing any trouble. And that's just halfway. What? Oh, you troll! You troll! Well, then what's over here? Another clown car. I hear the Bowser music again. Where is he? Oh, crap. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. And he sends ba bombs He sends a barrage of ba bombs That's too high! That's too high! Ow, ow, ow! Ah, ah, ah! Crap, crap, crap! Let me get behind you. No! Ah! Damn it! Too much fire! Too much fire! Ah! Stop it! Ah! Ah, ah, ah! I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, wow. Man, that was intense. That was so intense. But then, that's pretty much been the theme of this level as a whole. And heck, if you even want, you can have dancing girls, too. And then you get to go celebrate with them. But yeah, that... Wow, I am really impressed with the levels so far. Like, wow. I, I'm, I'm, my mind is blown, currently. Like, that that was a tough level, though. But, but once I figured out the little um, solution there, like, it, it was then we then threw ourselves into a battle against Giant Bowser. But then seeing the little Bowser that was constantly stuck in the trampolines was just so funny. Like, I, I, that's definitely another one I have to give to Steven. I definitely have to give that one to Steven, too. So yeah, how, how are the courses that are going to come next possibly going to follow up on these two amazing courses? Let's find a Super Mario Brother, a Super Mario World course and find out. And it looks like we may have one here with Sea Temple, 
created by Minimoo from the UK. And obviously, most of this is going to be underwater, so... Why don't you say we take a look at Minimoo's little sea temple? And check out what is all within it. Maybe there'll be a bunch of treasure for us to get our hands on. And I honestly don't know why the game is giving you a checkpoint at the start. Don't ask me why, I'm not the one who made this course. Away we go. And look at all these homing dead skeleton fish. That is a lot of homing skeleton fish, and and that and if that wasn't enough, there's swamps too. Yeah, let's get over the swamps. Ah ha 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 ha. Yeah, giant swamps. Even you can't notice me, cause I'm over your head. I am over your head, fools. <laughs> yeah, you're looking at me like, how dare you go over my head? Oh, and it's a troll pipe! Really? They, re they really put a troll pipe in here. Like, wow. Minimoo, you're mean. Why would you say go down when I clearly cannot? But then, who knows where, how far I'm swimming or where I'm swimming to? Like, did he just never bother to put the, um, finish in here or something? I don't know. I'm so confused. Like, all, he, all I'm really doing is just swimming because for some reason... And yeah, he puts in all this sea level and there's nothing beyond those swamps. But then again, I mean, what was I supposed to... The game was not allowing me to go down that pipe. Like, was there something I had to do that had to do with those swamps? Because I really have no clue whatsoever what happened there. And I'm really not sure I want to find out. However, we have to clear the level, hopefully, within the 10 minute time limit. Because it's very rare that I've had to impose that on myself. Alright, we're back here at the thwomps. Now, how come I cannot go down? Because, yeah, it says go down here. So, yeah, that's a troll. That's a troll pipe. Maybe the real pipe is among you guys. But, it, but I can't see it, though. Do we just go over this way? Because, yeah, I'm so confused right now. I'm just so confused right now. Yeah, here it is. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the where the real pipe goes to. Yeah, that that was weird. Yeah, they, they put a troll pipe on you, and then they say, Hey, hey guess what? The real pipe is actually back towards the start. You just had to go in a big C. In a great big inverted C to fu to clear the level, which I guess kind of goes with the theme of the level. Like, yeah, it's in the C, so in order to get to the exit, you need to swim in a giant C. So, yeah, try and figure that one out. But thankfully I did. Alright, so now... Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that one. Because, yeah, pe people are gonna keep making... Um, try being the courses more. Alright, let's see if we can find a Mario U course. <laughs> the never-ending course? Is this supposed to be, like, the never-ending story? Well, why don't we find out what Connor from the U.S. is doing with this? The never-ending course, huh? Well, it certainly looks like there's going to be a lot of trinkets, but also a lot of enemies, too. Let's see how we fare here. Well, if nothing else, we open by knocking out a whole bunch of Lakitus. Yeah, Lakitu, it's your own fault for trying to stand up to me. Oh, get the stars, get the stars! Oh, I, I, I really want to take Yoshi. But the thing is, I also really want this clown car, too! I also really want the clown car, too! Okay, go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go! N never ending course, it's more never, like, never ending awesome! And I guess I'll have to just be content with landing on the spikes, but yeah. That really wasn't a never ending course at all, actually. <laughs> it was just a lot of bells and whistles, but fun, too. 
Lots of bells and whistles, but fun too. That was that was cool when you can get a course like that. Like the title may have been misleading, but it was definitely a lot of fun to give a go. And considering the long courses I've already tried, a nice little short one with a bunch of bells and whistles was definitely enjoyable. So that is going to do it for our main um, courses for today. However, now we're going to get to our featured attraction. A course submitted by you, one of my viewers, and I just happen to have it typed here, so let me bring it up. I know where the file is on my PC. So let's see if I can type this course in. Enter a course ID. I'm so glad I'm finally getting a chance to do this. Okay. I hope I've typed this all right based on what was posted last week. 2839, then five zeros, because that's always the default. 06C, 313E. And hit OK. Searching for course. It does exist. This was submitted by Lady Cynthia, and I want to thank her very much for being the first ever person to suggest a course here in Super Mario Sundays featuring Super Mario Maker. So today, she is providing us with this course, Five Nights at Bowser's for Super Mario U. So it's got a 7% clear rate. It has 79 out of 100, over 1,000 people have attempted it, but the world record is only 20 seconds. Can I beat this within the 10-minute time limit? We are about to find out. There's a big smile on my face. Let's hope it's not taken away in a heartbeat. Let's do this. Five Nights at Bowser's. I can already tell that this is a play on Five Nights at Freddy's. I can already tell that this is a take on Five Nights at Freddy's. And there's going to be a lot of crap in here. <laughs> yeah, they're giving me the phone call. They got all the pissed off animals. They have a P-switch if I can just hang in there. But where do I take it? Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Okay, I, I saw where the passage was trying to open up. But, yeah. Here we go. Can I get past you? I can. But I can't get past you further! <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine that there will be many deaths. I can imagine there will be many deaths. Alright, try it again. Yeah, phone calls! Phone calls! Where's the P-Switch? I was about to say, where's the P-Switch? What I really need to have happen is, well, aside from that, is also not get burned. <laughs> I need that to happen too. But yeah, I wonder what the they're trying to do in terms of the puzzle aspects. Okay, grab the P-Switch. Then I need you to come to me. Right, spin over you. Good. But we can't go further. What? Can I spin over you again? I can. Ah! Crap! Okay, I saw I saw the opening. I saw where the passage was. It was up. It was top right. It was top right. Okay. Oh, they're both dead. <laughs> well, that's awesome. But I need you to come over here. Alright. Oh, that's not another passage. Oh, I, I think I see what's going on, maybe? Um, I'm a bit confused right now. I'm, I'm a bit confused. And the fact that you only get one hit doesn't help. But I, th I think I understand now. I think I understand how this works. If I can pull you over here, Boo. Ah! <laughs> Couldn't spin over him. 
Couldn't spin over him, but yeah, the, the boo is definitely gonna be the troll enemy. I killed you both at once. Oh, couldn't quite. Oh, I, I, meant, I meant it for it to be done differently. Alright, come on, you two. Shoot fireballs. What are you waiting for? Shoot fireballs. Come on, you Bowser on the left. I want you to shoot fireballs so you can clear me a path, because I fi finally figured out why this is the way it is. If I can hold out and avoid the fireballs and get you to shoot them where I need you to shoot them, I will be fine. What I really need is a full spread. Like that! Ah! Ah, oh, crap, it's not quite the way I want it! Now it's the way I want it! Oh boy! Boo, can you go- Boo, can you go somewhere else? I just need you to go somewhere else for me for just a moment. Drop down, drop down! Oh, oh, oh crap! But I still need you guys to shoot one more fireball! Shoot one more fireball. That's too high, no! Oh shit! But I'm through! I'm through! Get out, get out! And cheering is heard! And victory is mine! Oh wow! That was a true test of endurance, but I made it! Oh, that was amazing! That was amazing. Oh, Cynthia, thank you so much for being the first person to submit a course to me. Like, I am so happy right now that I got the chance to do this course. It was so worth it. It was so worth it. And this was the first. I really hope that it's not the last that I do in this series. But Cynthia, thank you so much for giving me such a wacky and fun course to do. So that is going to do it for this edition, this special edition of Super Mario Sundays featuring Super Mario Maker. So a big shout out to our course creators, Dean from the UK, thanks to our bonus course, courtesy of Lady Cynthia, as well as Connor from the US, as, and also further up for Minimoo of the UK, and finally at the top, Toby from Germany and Vincent from France. Thank you so much to our course creators and thank you to Lady Cynthia for the course submission. And if you want to, like Lady Cynthia, get one of your courses featured here on Super Mario Sundays featuring Super Mario Maker, please post it in the comments with the name of the course and the course ID. Because as you saw, we finally got a course submission. Let's hope that there's more to come from you, my viewers. So thank you very much everyone for watching, and until I see you again next Sunday for another edition of Super Mario Sundays featuring Super Mario Maker, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.